East Midlands Railway offer this, quote, cab-and-go service where one can obtain a taxi to and from a station. If you aren't a wheelchair user, one can get an instant price quite online and book the taxi with two hours' notice. Not so much for wheelchair users. They say, for a wheelchair-accessible vehicle, please call 033 358 0146. This is what happened when I gave that a try. Welcome to CMAC. Please note, calls are recorded for training and monitoring purposes. Has your next flight covered? Our experienced, responsive team of professionals. See you, Mark. I'm speaking. How can I help? Hello. Please, can you do me a quote for a, a journey cab and go? Wheelchair accessible taxi. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, cab and go. Um, where are you calling from again, sorry? I'm just a passenger. Um, I'm on the East Midlands Railway Cab and Go website. Mm -hmm. It says to call this number for a uh, wheelchair accessible taxi. Um, where would it be going from? Leeds Station. Going, uh, and going to? Um, in Weatherby, please. Have you got the postcode for that? Um, Is it LS22, yeah, LS22. Yeah, there we go. You oh, got it. Yeah. Let's do all the But bear with me two seconds. I'm just going to speak with the manager to confirm because I haven't done um, the cab go booking since bear with me two seconds. All right. Um, CMAC is one of the UK's leading providers of planned and emergency passenger transport and accommodation solutions. We offer competitive prices from a nationwide network of over 4,000 vetted and approved coach, minibus and taxi hire companies, as well as hotel groups. Our customer support team is available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. A member of the team will be right with you. Thank you for your patience. It's our business to match the right supplier with the right customer. After all, we pride ourselves on our client and supplier relations, giving a five-star commitment to both. We're able to achieve this by investing in state-of-the-art technology as well. Hello, thanks for holding. I do apologize about the long hold. Um, no, no. Your estimated still out would be around 115. Okay, 115 pounds. Okay. Roughly. How do I go about doing that then? Booking it, right, so we can get that sorted for you. Um, right, uh, is there any station stuff at the station there? Yeah. Right, would you just be able to speak to one of the station staff to give us a call in to um, get them to book it so we can put it on the East Midlands train account? So um, there's no East Midlands. I, I, I'm not even at the station yet. Oh, you're not at the station yet? No, no, I'm, I'm getting a taxi from the station home, don't forget. Right. Um, and, and like, there's a web form to, for me to book, to fill in and pay and sort it all out. But it says for a wheelchair accessible vehicle, please call, so that's why I'm calling, you know. With a web form, it just gives you a quote, an instant quote, and then you say where you, which station you want picking up from and where you want to go, and, and then it, it, asks for your, it, you know, it asks for your card details, and it's on the CMAC website. So what time would you be uh, looking for the taxi? What? Um, ten past ten. You know, it gives a it gives a, a precise quote. It tells you how much exactly it's going to cost. And um, what was the street name again? Sorry. 
It, it tells me that for a standard vehicle, it's 63 yeah, so quid. Yeah, so I this account could have been going from solid, but it's quite new account which come off um, the fire with a but usually it comes from the states and stuff. Right. Obviously you can people you obviously you can pay for yourself. I'm just uh, reading on for the wheelchair accessible. They should put the tax money to not open this door. I can't remember. I think all this is correct. Right. right, yeah, because you're going to make the payment. Bear me two seconds, because usually it's in the account booking. Let me just um, quick just the money for again, because I'm working at home. Um, I'll okay. take the payment from you. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's exceptional people. <laughs> One of the UK's leading providers of planned and emergency passenger transport and accommodation solutions. Hi, but I'm just going to pop you over to the manager, Ali. He's going to go through the payments with you and talk to this booking out for you for 10 past 10, alright? Alright. Thank you. We offer competitive prices from a nationwide network of over 4,000 vetted and approved coach, minibus and taxi hire companies, as well as hotel groups. Our customer support team is available 20... Hello. Hello. Hi, it's Rich Wally, I'll see you. How are you doing? All right, yeah, thanks. How can I help, sorry? Um, I'm kind of hoping that your previous guys kind of explained everything. I've been on Yeah, so I minutes. believe you tried to book a, uh, a wheelchair accessible vehicle from Leeds to Weatherby. Yeah, that's right. On an East Midlands Railway Tab and Go website, it gives me a yeah. quote for an inaccessible one and says for an accessible one to phone. Right, okay, because when you receive your quote, there should be a button next to it that says pay now. The quote is for an inaccessible one and it says for a wheelchair accessible vehicle, please call 0333 358 0146 which is what I rang 20 minutes ago. And your guy doesn't know what to do with it, does he? No, OK, I do apologise about that. Uh, let me just pop you on a quick call, just give me two takes. Oh, for God's sake, no, I've been on hold for 20 minutes. Just bloody do it, please. Right, that's, Why that's did that's I have to be on hold for 20 minutes, eh? Right. When people can do it online be. instantly, and you don't know what you're doing either, do you? So you're going to have to go off now and try and work it out. Right, okay. you don't it's need a sort of service that you expect you your customers. If you do yeah, shouting, I do I have to, because on account of the fact you're right, discriminating I'm, I'm you against me. If you do keep shouting, I will terminate the phone call. I'm trying to help you out. You're so trying to help me out by not doing your job. So He hung up on me, and I assumed that was that. But if you wait a bit... I got an unexpected phone call five minutes later. Yes? Hi there, Tali calling from CMAC. Hello, thanks for hanging up Hiya. on me. Right, okay. Um, I have um, looked into it for you, with it obviously being a wheelchair accessible. Yeah. Now, what, what, the, what the process is, I'll have to provide yeah. you with a quote. Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're happy with that, we'll take payment and we'll get that booked in for you. That's exactly now, what I was trying to do 27 minutes ago. Right. And where, where will this be picking you up from? Is it Leeds train station? Yes. Leeds station, and where are we taking you to? Where it be? That's also the same address I've given four times now. Have you got a postcode for that by any chance? I have. You didn't need it before. Why do you need it now? I'm trying to put the booking in. We need the postcode to put the booking in. Strangely, when I was going on your website to do it, and when I was speaking to your colleague just now, he didn't need it either. LS22 
Yeah. What was the door number there? Yeah. No and is it just yourself travelling? Um, yeah. But it and doesn't is it have to either when, when it's in the point it does, yeah. Is it an uh, electric wheelchair or a manual wheelchair? It's within the dimensions of 70 centimetres by 120 by 300 kilograms and 135 centimetres high. So it will fit in any wheelchair accessible taxi. Right, OK. And you're OK with a ramp, yeah? You don't need a lift? I wonder if I can get in the taxi and accessible. I really don't care. Seconds. And what was your name, sorry? Douglas Pauly, Pepper Alpha Uniform, Luma Luma Echo Gentle. So I'm struggling to hear you say that again, sorry. Douglas Pauly. Oh, where is my. Where is my. Um, one second. I've lost my microphone, that's why. Right. Um, it's P A U, Pepper Alpha Uniform. And I got cut off again. Apologies, I don't know what happened there. So yeah, I got Papa Alpha Uniform. Lima Lima Echo Yankee. Yeah, and your surname, sorry? That's it. That is my surname. Well, that's your name. What, what, what was your first name? Apologies. Douglas. Douglas, no worries. Okay. And the best contact number is the one that I'm ringing on. Yeah, although I hate using the phone. I would much rather not have to. All right, no, I do apologise. Um, right, okay, so what what I'll do now, so we've got all the details here to get this all booked in for you. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have to ring around and try to get you a quote. Um, as soon as I get a quote, I'll give you a shout straight back. Is this for straight away? I don't understand. The, 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 your website will give me a quote for an inaccessible taxi instantly. Yeah, so what, what happens is with, with inaccessible taxis, um, they all have agreed rates with ourselves. So the, the, like, it's, it's a fixed price throughout. Now, right. with, um, with wheelchair accessible, because it's past five o'clock, a lot of them switch off for the day because they're mainly down to contract work. Right. Now, when we're booking ad hoc, um, they have to pull drivers in, so they, they don't stick to our agree rates that we have with them. So sometimes they could charge us more, they could charge us less. So with it, with it being a pricing issue, that's Can why we're not able to give up. Can you me the same as you would for an inaccessible taxi? Unfortunately not, because the suppliers don't quote us the same, you yeah, see. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm paying you, aren't I? And you're quoting me yeah. 63 quid for an inaccessible taxi, and you're saying that it might be more for an accessible taxi, and that feels yeah, like so it's discrimination. Right, I'm, I'm not too sure on obviously why it's saying £63. Pound. Um, it's saying 63 can... quid for a, for a standard taxi and phone for an accessible one. And I'm just assuming that, that, like, I shouldn't have to pay more because I'm a wheelchair user. No, so, Laxis, the, the price that I'm getting straight to it without putting the job in without obviously checking the supplier yeah. is showing me £115. Right. Why not 63 quid um, when it's 63 quid for an I, I'm not sure. I, I'll be completely honest, we don't really deal with the, with the cost side of things, with us being the emergency department. Why is the emergency accounting. department? It just tells me to ring this number to book an accessible taxi. Yes, yeah, so that's that's for as soon as possible. If it was for a couple of days' time, then you, you won't need to be giving us a call, you see. It says to ring this number regardless. Yeah, so normally what would happen is if you were looking to book a taxi for, let's say, tomorrow, um, it says during the day... It says, to get, we'd, it says for two hours' notice. Yeah, so we'd always refer you. If it's not on the day, we'd always refer you to give us a call back during office hours. And obviously all the relevant departments are in that can take payment, that can give you a quote and enough straight away, check not, availability. Can you not just meet this quote of 63 quid that you quote for an Unfortunately not. Taxi? I, I, I can't, unfortunately not. No, like I say, we don't well, really I deal don't with the prices, why. whatever. Yeah, but the problem is you're the person that I'm, I'm speaking with face to face and you're the person that's telling me that you want 115 quid roundabout. Whereas it's 63 quid for an inaccessible taxi and that just feels like it's direct discrimination. No, and actually, I, I, we don't really get involved with the prices at all. I, I don't know how the pricing is, is broken down or how it's added up or anything. I appreciate that, but um, it's me that's wanting the strategy in an hour and a half, and it's you that's charging me an extra 50 quid because I'm a wheelchair user. Yeah, actually, again, it, it comes down to the, the fact of availability. 
Yeah, um, but it's, 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 it's EU you that's quoting. It's not, it's not the, the um, taxi provider, it's you that's quoting me the 63 quid. You know, I'm not paying the taxi provider, I'm paying cab and go. You're charging yeah. a different price for um, an inaccessible taxi as for an accessible taxi for precisely the same journey at precisely the same time. Yeah, no, Lexi, I, I, again, I, I don't know the, the breakdowns of the cost. That's the price that, that is showing on, on my screen. Okay, please go away and get a quote. And when you come yeah. back to me, if it's more than 63 quid, I will sue CMAC. Right, okay. Right, no worries. I'm already I'll, suing I'll, I'll you anyway. Call, I think you dealt with one of my other calls the other day. I look forward to your call back. Yeah, no worries. I'll give you a bell back as soon as we get a quote. Thus far, it had already taken over half an hour to attempt to book my wheelchair accessible taxi by phone, which is very stressful to me as a deaf autistic person. People needing a non-accessible taxi could book it in seven seconds online. I ended up giving up on this journey. CMAC behave similarly every time I have any interaction with them. They are renowned across the industry for being terrible at accessibility, both incompetent and uncaring. This is yet another example. East Midlands Railway, why do you promote such ableist prats?